Self-storage facilities are one of the most profitable sources of passive income. As opposed to getting into the real estate or landlord business, where you'll have to deal with everything from pesky tenant complaints to broken toilets, storage units basically manage themselves. With this kind of operation, you can enjoy high returns with very low maintenance. You're also very likely to succeed, as only 8% of storage unit businesses fail, compared to much higher failure rates with other investments. Here's everything you need to know. ROI. The average self-storage facility can make a 60 to 70% profit at full occupancy. And according to industry data, the average occupancy is around 90%. That being said, it might take you a bit of time to reach that full occupancy level. On average, this milestone takes self-storage facility owners about one to two years to achieve. But let's break it down to more tangible numbers so you can get a better idea of what you're working with. If you have a self-storage facility with 40,000 square feet of rentable space at an average of $9 per square foot rental rate, you'll generate around $450,000 in gross rent, assuming you have 100% occupancy. Of course, there are several more factors that will come into play that affects this income, such as late fees, administrative fees, truck rental commissions, and retail sales, which would be things like padlocks and storage boxes. All of these items generally account for an additional 5-10% to of income. If you then subtract maintenance costs, loan interest fees, utilities, and other overhead expenses, you're looking at about $120,000 in positive cash flow, or a 30% return on investment every single year. And if that sounds enticing, you should note that the average is still about 10% higher than that. How much it costs? Opening a self-storage unit business can be pretty expensive. We'll touch on financing in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. But if you're planning on constructing a single-story facility from the ground up, expect to pay somewhere between $25 and $40 per square foot. Multi-story buildings will run a bit higher at $42 to $70 a square foot. And that means if you're looking at building a facility around 60,000 to 80,000 square feet in size, it'll cost you around $2.7 million to $5.2 million. Alternatively, you could always purchase a pre-established self-storage unit facility at a discount, but since the majority of self-storage businesses are successful, they rarely end up on the market. And if they do, you'd be wise to figure out why. After all, you wouldn't want to be the owner of a failing self-storage business. Financing Starting a self-storage business is just like starting any other kind of business. In order to focus on the more important details, we are going to skip over some of the basics, like coming up with a business name, registering an LLC, and writing up a business plan. But given the steep price of building or buying a self-storage facility business, securing financing is going to be one of the most critical steps of the process. That is, unless you can already afford to build one outright with cash. Some of the most popular financing options include small business administration loans, or SBAs, and regular bank loans. Qualification requirements for these kinds of loans vary, but generally speaking, you'll need a decent credit score of about 650 or higher, and somewhere between 15-30% to 30 down. SBA loans usually only require 10% down, and can allow you to finance all of the construction interest with up to two years of loan payments. If you qualify, this could be one of the best ways to go. Other considerations. Finding a suitable location will be critical to your success. The average market size for a self-storage business is three to five miles. So evaluate the area in this radius to make sure it would support your business profitably. Also consider things like demographics, namely population and density. You'll want to target customers with disposable income too. Self-storage facilities do best in middle to upper middle income bracket areas. The average rental or leaser is also typically somewhere in their early 20s to mid 50s. It'll also need to be a high traffic area with good visibility from the road, which is one of the best ways to ensure you continue to attract customers. Of course, you may want to scope out the competition to ensure you're not going to be at a disadvantage from the start. Ultimately, if you can afford the down payment and secure financing, a self-storage facility is one of the lowest maintenance businesses for huge cash flow. If you have any more questions about this business, drop us a comment below so we can cover it in a future video. And for a similarly passive income business model, check out this video on starting a laundromat business, and we'll see you in the next video.